you can't write it, right? So how many times have you used to watch me drop off at Manchester Airport and try and get a job home? How many times? Loads of times. It's just very rare. Doesn't really happen. Very, very rare. So today, I've got a 10 a.m. land. So I thought to myself, I'll bounce around the airport, edge of Warrington, stay local, get back up to Man Air for 10. I've had two job offers. One was Warrington to Ellesme Airport, which is halfway back to Liverpool for 24 quid for 22 miles. Awful fare. But it took half an hour, so I thought, why not? Because it is very quiet out. It took me about 25 minutes to get that job offer. And then when I dropped off in Ellesme Airport, sat there, nothing. 10 minutes later, a job from Ellesme Airport to Liverpool City Centre for 18 quid. So in two jobs from Warrington to Liverpool, 44 quid, not including the tolls. Any other time, it would be amazing. So now it's 9 a.m. My customers land at 10 a.m. in Manchester. I'm in the city centre. And I've just seen on the groups that there's been a crash on the M6 or something. And both lanes are chocker. So from Liverpool to Manchester, it is rammed. <laughs> So I've just stopped off now, got myself a um, oh, little protein snack. Um, bacon and cheese flatbread from Mackey's and order two separate sausage patties. Open it up, put them in. Oof, banging, proper banging. Only 500 odd calories, like 20, 20 odd gram of protein, belter. Um, but yeah, guys, can't believe it. The only time I did not want to get back to Liverpool and I got back to Liverpool in two jobs. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, isn't it? So now I'm going to head back up to Man Air. I've got my destination set. Head up back up, back up to Man Air and hopefully um, I either get a job up there or I just get there on time. That's my plan. All right, guys, I'll keep you updated. See you soon. <sighs> Had a bit of a nightmare there. So when I dropped off back in Liverpool, didn't I? I drove all the way back to Manchester with the destination set on, on, on to Manchester Airport. Didn't get a sniff. So I drove all the way to Manchester, empty. Got to Manchester Airport, waited for a bit. Now it was a count job, so I had to um I had to go in 30 minutes after the land and then you know with the board meet and greet and all that. But on this type of job I get paid waiting time, I get paid a car park. So if I go over on the car park and stuff, I get you know get reimbursed then anyway. So I was there I was in there for nearly 50 minutes and it ended up being a no show. But luckily, because the type of job it is, because it was an account job. It's not my fault, it's a no-show. So, boom. Yeah, I got paid for it anyway. So, I got paid for that job. Um, didn't really do nothing. But then I drove home with me, with me Uber on. And I got one £4 job offer. It is dead out there. Like, proper dead. Um, talking about dead, my car is nearly dead. No, it's not. But, it is 10 to 12 now. So I'll come all the way home, didn't get a single job offer on Uber. That was worth coming off the motorway for. They won four pound job for like a five mile away. I am on about thirty-six percent battery. I've done 165 miles this morning. Uh, my range is saying I've got hundred miles left. But it is cracking the flags. It is sunny, which means solar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home now, plug myself in. Um, I'll plug the car in, not myself. Um, plug, plug my car in. I'm going to have a quick bite to, uh, to eat. I'm going to nick my wife's car. I'm going to go and get my hair cut. Go for a quick swim. I went boxing last night, first time in a while. And I am sore from eyebrows down. Really bad. So um, I'm going to go for a sauna, seam and a swim. And loosen my body up a bit. <laughs> get my hair cut. Come back. Get my car. It's got a bit of a charge. Get on Uber. Go, get back up to Manny. Get the, pick them up. Take them back. Yeah. So the day's not over, but it's just coming up to 12 o'clock, so I've been out now six and a half hours, and I've done 140 airports, 45 Uber, 185 quid in six and a half hours. Obviously, that's not including all my tolls and all my over and outgoings, that's just top end. But still, I'm happy. Happy as Jeppe, happy as Larry. Uh, but now, yeah, I'm going to go in and get some food. Haircuts looking fresh. I'll be looking next time you see me. I'll be looking fresh, mate. I'll be looking like Brad Pitt, but with black hair and grey, black and grey hair. 
Wel eens zoals met plagen, hè? Dat gaat denk ik. Anyway, I'm gonna keep the video short, haven't I? So yeah, that's it guys. I will keep you updated on how I get on. Maybe next time you see me, I'll be looking all fresh and clean. I have just missed an opportunity there, haven't I? So I've come home to charge my car, use my solar to get free electric. Buy a while plugged into my wall charger. Now there's a company that pops up at the start and the end of my videos called Costello's EV and Solar Fenton. The sister companies. So if you contact Costello's EV, they are linked anyway. So if you want solar panels or a wall charger, or if your solar panels won't fit on your ha roof because your angle's off, don't worry, put them on your fence and give Costello's EV a call and tell them Driver Matty sent you. I don't get anything, it's just literally just, just to show them that, you know what I mean? That the sponsorship's working and stuff. And now obviously if the sponsorship keeps working, keeps funding my videos, I can then concentrate more on YouTube. Going forward. Thank you. Hello guys. Hey, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? I am sweating from the gym though. Got about 12 lengths and then when it's sauna and everything else, I have to get my hair cut. So feeling fresh, but I am a bit tired now. So uh, yeah, it's been the gym, just got two baby bells, light and light baby bells, and uh, a youthful protein shake out the house. Now luckily I've just touched, touched luck there. Uh, it's half two, about a couple of hours off, I ended up getting about 33% battery back into the engine, and well into the batteries from the house solar, which was a massive win while I was using the wife's car. And now I, I just got a job from an operator going out to Manor, so now I've got to be in the city centre by R4 to pick someone up to take them to Manchester for a five o'clock land. So I've got to return, but I'm out and in, which has just made a massive difference to the day. I don't have to get the aircon on, guys. I'm sweating. I turn the aircon off so it doesn't affect the ability of it. Let's see if it affects us. Let's do a test. I don't know if you can still hear me with the aircon blowing. Well, anyway. I'll catch you later. See you soon. I'm gonna bounce around an Uber. I'll keep you updated on how I get on. Guys, yeah, just a quick update. That's why it's on the selfie mode and I haven't got my selfie camera. I've got no time. Um, I'm gonna be late for my pickup from Liverpool to Manny and then the plane's landing a bit earlier than suggested. So the customer could be waiting for me when I drop the other one off to take them back to Bootle. But on top of all this, now, right now, I was enjoying the sun. I had the aircon blasting, uh, bouncing around on Uber, yeah. I've just realised my predicted range is 109 miles and I've got to do a probably a round trip of 90. <laughs> I keep you updated. Alright guys, I am all done, I'm knackered. It's uh, 7 o'clock. So what's that? 13 and a half hours. No, I did have a couple of hours off to get the aircon to go to the sauna, but still. 13 and a half hours. People call me lazy on YouTube. Part-time taxi driver, not really a real one. He's had his privileges all wrong, get yeah, smashed it. <laughs> I'm having a week off now though. <laughs> nah, I've got a couple of jobs tomorrow as well to be honest. Uh, but yeah, to be honest mate, um, after the four airports, uh, including the no-show, which is obviously still four, because I got paid for it anyway, I ended up on 280 with tips. And I ended up about 70 quid on Uber, bouncing around in between. So there's 350 quid, 13 and a half hours, minus obviously a little bit in between. Smashed it, mate. Made up with that. Tired now, though. But interestingly, I've done 285 miles and I'm on 10% battery. I got home. So when I was panicking, saying I'm not going to get home, I actually just I made it. It was plenty. Uh, so I've got 10% battery left. So it, luckily, I've done the little two hour break in between to charge, or I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have made it. Um, also, which is mad, you know, those two jobs that were so close together. I dropped off in Terminal 3, Manchester, at the drop-off, swung into the multi-storey, which is in the Terminal 3 drop-off, walked over, grabbed the um, other passengers, took them over and drove out. I literally done two jobs and paid for one toll. Now, it happens a lot in JLA, John Lennon Airport, but it doesn't happen in Manchester. Very rare. So that was a bit of an, um, bit of a, an achievement, isn't it? <laughs> But I'm knackered, I'm going home. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my big, long job, day, trips, video. Catch you later.